Check this out. Three hours of sunlight gives us enough energy to power all of humanity's needs for an entire year. If only we had a way to capture it. Oh, wait a minute. We do. And I'm back. It's Steve Feet, episode two. Protein for the brain. So we've got a bit of a jobs crisis on our hands. The Australian Bureau of Statistics says that we have lost almost 900,000 jobs since the COVID crisis hit our shores. Now, we know it's probably worse than that. If we do a little bit of street level research and go and ask 50 mates or 100 people you know whether they'd like to be working more, you might find half of them wish they were. So the unemployment rates are probably a lot higher than the spreadsheet or the statistics say. Got to be careful of those spreadsheets and stats. They don't always tell the truth. Okay, there's some good news on the jobs front. The renewable sector is flying. 27% growth rate. We've now got 27,000 people employed in that sector. And hey, the rule of 72, do you know what that is? Good, I'm about to tell you. It goes like this. Take any growth number and divide it into the number 72 and it'll tell you how long it takes for that thing to double. That means renewable jobs are doubling every 2.6 years. Now, let's compare that to the coal industry. We've currently got 38,000 people working directly in that industry. And our politicians, guess what they're gonna do? Bring a lump in to parliament and say, hey, this is the future. No, baby, it's the past. I'm bringing sunshine and science. So the jobs of tomorrow always come from solving the problems of today. And we've got a problem on our hands, climate change. It's about time we got serious about solving it. A recent report from Beyond Zero Emissions said that practical projects in Australia could provide 355,000 jobs a year. That is 10 times the number of people that currently work in coal. And the upside, guess what? Our kids will be able to breathe air they can't see and our grandkids won't have to swim to school. The science of solar is strong. Have you heard of Swanson's law? Well, here's what it says. For every doubling of manufacturing capacity of solar PV, the price comes down by 20%. The economics are there, fossil fuels can't compete. They're yesterday, they're for dinosaurs. Here's the cool thing. You're probably thinking, geez, how many solar panels will we need around Australia? We'd have to cover up the whole country to make this work. Gee, it's not. In Australia, we use 1,200 terawatt hours of energy a year for all of our needs. And that would only require a little over 5,000 square kilometers of solar panels to give us all the energy we need. That's just 71 kilometers by 71 kilometers. You can see what it looks like right here. Zap, electricity is the future. It's easy to generate, it's easy to store, and it's easy to distribute, baby. It's time to think big. We're coming out of a crisis. We're gonna build our future. At the end of World War I, we built the Great Ocean Road, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. At the end of World War II, it was the Snowy Hydro. Renewables are our future. The jobs are waiting. We've got the skills, we've got the desire, and we've got the technology. Let's do it. Over to you, ScoMo. No, but seriously, ScoMo, call me.